Yeah, let's get started. Enjoying the daily anti chess arena again. Yeah. We're the number one player so far. Um I guess that's good. This guy right here though, he's he's known a pretty good Ray Costa. He's I think he's played played a lot of games. He's played thirty thousand games. I played a solid two and a half thousand first game. That's pretty good. We played him yesterday, we beat him yesterday. Uh Let's start with this one. Oh, he's going for something weird that I don't know of. But I suspect that he's taking here. Okay. Um, I think this is the right move. No, it is not. I'm going to take there. If I took there, then he'd take here. Or something like that. One of the, one of the couple things. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think let's take here. I don't like how I'm already, uh, already overextending myself. Oh gee, this isn't looking good. Wow, he's really got me stuck. Yikes. Okay. Try to make a comeback. Hopefully my queen can get in there and just mess something up, maybe. Oh jeez. Hopefully it allows me to play something like this next turn. I don't know if that's good though. Maybe I'll try it. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like this game might start off as a loss. Which is too bad. <laughs> Deadly loud. Oh! I'm threatening two things right now, that's kind of good. Um, oh. Hmm. Let's see here. I think this is actually. No, it's definitely not. Never mind. Um. Let's play this. Because we know it was going to be a loss, anyways. <laughs> it's alright. You know what? That just means we're going to make a big comeback this time. We gave him a couple of nice points there. There's a lot of people here today. There's already 18. Well, only four minutes in. Not even four minutes in. Where's he from? From Mexico. Waiting for a minute. Oh wow, he's killing them. Six spectators, he should be getting paired soon. Oh my goodness, Sam's back on break at work. Hey Sam, what's up buddy? Again. Wow, you're definitely my most loyal supporter, I'll tell you that. Okay, we're up again. We're 4-0 against this guy. So let's not let's not ruin that winning streak. Oh, he's playing an opening where we just murder each other all at once. I think these all of these moves I'm pretty sure are lost. I, I sound pretty sure, obviously. Obviously, it's going to, it, like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I know, I know up until this point. Well, okay, I know, I know a couple moves past this, but then I don't know exactly what the right move is. But pretty sure he only has, like, one or two moves every time that are, that are OK 
save for him. So now I recapture here, and I threaten both capture here and capture here. This one's certainly worse for him because it exposes his bishop. However, if I take this, then we can make something out of it. I think we can make something out of it. We probably push his knight back. Knight can't come here. We have no problem about our rook and rocks on the a file. I think this is actually good now because I don't think there's anything. If he comes back here, then I have that move. Oh, okay, okay. That's nice. Um, I think I'm still winning though. Because I got two pieces of money here, but I think the problem is, is he's eventually going to have to move this pawn, which will open up his bishop. So I think I can even just let this pawn come to me. Because if I just wait there, and after I take, then he has to move something. And he moves something like this, and I got there. Yeah, and then we're good. Okay. Because now he has to rather move here, here, or here. All of which are losing. Which is typically what you want to do in anti-chess, is make the other person lose. Even though it's sort of not the way... It's never exactly of how people think that. A lot of people think... They're always like, Oh, I'm I'm really bad at chess, so I must be really good at anti-chess. But it, it doesn't really work that way. It's, it's still a game of strategy. It's, it's just opposite strategy. You get, you get what I mean. Yeah, so that's good. We got one win. We're not even in the top ten, though. It's kind of surprising. This guy is... Always frustrating. Shout out to Base Chess because um, he's always really good and I can never beat him, but he seems like he beats everyone else. I mean, it seems like he has a lower rating than me all the time, but he seems to always beat me. Like a phoenix from Unknown. Typically, if he takes here, then I know it's lost. Yeah, okay. I think I'm good here. If he takes with queen, it's a lot easier for me. Ah, uh, he didn't. I think this is the right move, though. He has to take with rather queen or knight. Forget what the exact sequence is, but... And then if he takes with queen, I think... Oh, okay. This will make it easier, I think. And then, so there, take, there, take, there, oh, okay, hold up, there, take, there, take, and then we'll play that, take, oh, we're, we're, I'm always left with a knight. Let's try... Let's try... Oh, what we could do is we could still play this move, I think. Take here. Yeah, okay. The only thing is, if I play that, then after he takes, I'll play there, and take, there, take. Yeah, okay. That's what we're going to do. And we'll finish it off like this. And that's game number two. Game number two is finished. We win. We're in fifth place now. Got a nice winning streak. Base chess again. 11 points. Not a single loss. He's berserked every time, too. If if uh, people who are watching don't know what berserking is, it's basically um, where you uh, you sacrifice half your time, but you're, you get a bonus point if you win. Speaking of base chess, doesn't look like he's going to berserk against me. That's interesting. He's, he's afraid of me. <laughs> I do have a winning record against him, though. 
Okay. Uh, let's play this move. Maybe we can get his knight back. Okay, now he's probably threatening the rook here. Let's start the right back. We're working the king in the pawn right there. I think that's good for me because if, if he lets me take that, then I win. Because his rook will be open and I can sack everywhere. Oh, wait, no. It won't be a win, but like. I don't know. I feel like it's better for me. However, okay, maybe not. Maybe he calculated it. He knows it's safe. Uh, yeah, because then he'll have his bishop there. He'll be fine. So, I'll recapture the knight here just to protect my rook from this stuff. Got two viewers? That's pretty cool. What's up, guy? I know it. A little odd that I'm celebrating over two viewers, but hey, viewers of viewer. Um, threatening knight right there. Um, let's try this. We're gonna try to push his knight back. And if he brings it forward, and then he's losing because he has to take that one. Okay, we just made him waste some move. That's good. Uh, is that safe? I feel like even if he moves his king back, he's gonna. He's just losing his king for no reason. Um. Ah. No, I don't think that's good. I feel like I should just get my knight out. But I don't want to double stack my rook. That's the one problem. Let's see here. We got a lot of spectators on the game. We got four spectators. Oh, we're down to two. Uh, let's play rook here. Maybe we can open up something back here. Eventually. Okay, he moves his king out of the way. Maybe now we'll be able to play something like this. Ready to put the knight there? Ooh. Bear take. Take. Knight take. Uh, there, take, 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 take. Uh, no, that's not good for me. Um, let's bring it back. Nicely stacked in the corner. That's interesting. Oh, that's smart. Never mind. It's not interesting. I think he's got it now. Then he'll play knight here. After he sacks the bishop. However, he will have one pawn left, and that might cause him some trouble. And actually, if he did, oh, he didn't sack it. And also, if he did, I, I had a rook on the end. Bring the knight back. We're running out of time. This that base chest always making me work. Oh, it might be two losses in the first four games. Of course, we're not giving up. Uh, let's see here. Maybe, is there any chance we can get, hmm. No, let's try to get our knight out so we can move our rook to the end. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to click quick now. Um... Push rook here. Oh, I don't like that. Um, 
I don't know. Oh, this might be winning, actually. Hold up. Oh, no. That's a good move. Hopefully he plays that. It's going to be a close one. Three seconds in. Oh, wow. We did it. Yeah. Wow, we won with three seconds left. That was, came in clutch. That was a close one. Wow. That's why you never give up, kids. Oh, my goodness. That was stressful. Three seconds left. We still got it, though. I think he actually had a better move there. I think he played, I think it was C6. It might have been it. Yeah, C6 would have been fun. I don't know why he didn't take more time. He still had 30 seconds left. I only had three, so he had, he had plenty of time. Up next, Turkey Chili. Turkey Chili. I'll switch up the openings as usual. I don't want to get tired of playing the same thing over and over again. Huh. This is weird. Mm. I think I play here. That's the winning move, I think. It takes with bishop, then it gets tricky because I got two pieces that I gotta gotta keep an eye on the whole time. Yeah, so probably that. I think that's the right move. Because then if he captures here. Oh, he captures there. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm so good. Because I got this move. And then this move. If he captures bishop, then I can make room for my rook. And if he captures with rook, then I got a series of nice moves here. I think. Oh, maybe they weren't as nice as I thought. Oh wait, yes they are, because now I've got rook here, and then we can play either of these two spots, and we win. There we go, five games done. Oh, Rekasa, he's a way better record against me. I don't know if you guys can see this, but he's 44 and 16 against me. That's a lot of games I've played against him. I've played 60 games against Rekasa. Not a lot of wins either. I know, theoretically, these are the best moves so far, because I've had to study this so much because he's way better, but the problem is when it gets to here, I get a little confused. Like, it, it gets less, less well-known. Uh, he's got a good threat of that right now, so maybe I try to try to prevent that with something like king here. Let's see now if he plays that. Oh, uh, is that a threat? We definitely don't want to do that, though. We could, uh, yeah, we definitely don't want to do that. I think this is a good solid move. Defends there, but it's not the biggest deal. It's just, I think it's sound. That's interesting. I guess he brings queen down here. Mm, we definitely want to recapture the king because we don't want to let our bishop fly around. I think we play here though. Take that and take, take. Oh. Yeah, actually that might be okay. No, 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 it won't. Take, take, and then he'll take here, and then after I take here, then he, then he has that. So I think I should recapture the king. Maybe we play... Maybe here. 
Oh, that's interesting. Let's try it. Because he can't fully get out of it because I uh, have two on top. And he can't play something like Rook here. Because then, then it's my next recapture. Prepared to move on my Rook. Oh, he's running out of time. I think he's a good fast player, though. He, he loves to... He's good at playing fast. Ooh, okay. Maybe we try this one. Because then maybe we can... Maybe we'll... We'll just do something like this. We might act. Oh, uh, this might give a king up, actually. Oh, no way! Oh, wow. That was a nice move on his part. Oh, okay. He might run out of time. I doubt he'll run out of time. He's pretty good. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, he's good. Well, we did it to base chess, and then we get it right back from the Costa. We're in sixth place right now. We're four and two. That's all right. Doing okay. Certainly could be could be doing better, but it's a nice move on his part. Didn't even see it. Okay. Oh crap, poo. I didn't mean to do that. A Nomius. From an unknown country. A lot of newer players don't really know how to deal with this move. Maybe he does. Yeah, okay, then I mean, he knows exactly what he's doing. Ooh, interesting. There's a question is, does he know where to go after this? Best move is here. Mm, okay. He's probably going to take here. Oh, he didn't. Very interesting. Um, hmm, that's a good move. I wasn't expecting that from him. Let's try. We don't want to necessarily just make him recapture because that doesn't necessarily do anything. Maybe we try this. Because we threatened opening up his rook. He's going to have to move that on, in which I take here. Oh, I don't think that's good for him. Uh, what do we want? It doesn't matter what I recapture with, but I kind of like, I don't know, I might mess up. So. Let's do this. So I start with that move. Then he can choose. Oh, I'll choose to continue with this move. Probably. Right here. And then I gotta move this pawn because if I don't, then he takes down there. Now we've got one move. And it's all over. GG. Alright, we're about close to a half hour in. I think this is my first stream where I'm going where I'm going all the way, I think.
We'll see how that works. Okay. We're in fifth place. We're five out of seven. Fourteen points. Playing Dust Ball. Dust Ball is from. Not, he's not from anywhere again. Ooh. I used to lose to a guy who played that opening all the time. And so I eventually found that move, which is just kind of tricky because you think this is good for you. But really, after this, it's, it's actually losing. I forget how. But I know it's because one of these two pieces has to take the rook on the side. His knight loses to that. His bishop loses to that. It's just I don't know the full pattern. I'm going to have to think it out. And rook here. I mean, queen there. I don't know what I would do in that situation, but... Yeah, okay. I know that part of it. Okay, and I definitely know that we have to move our king. Question is, what next? We probably have to open up our bishop. Here as opposed to here, because then we have that, and my pawn's protecting it. Let's play bishop down here. Yeah, because then we can maybe, maybe we can get his queen involved if we have to. Start with this. Okay, yeah. I think the move would be pawn. Looking good. Um. Uh, knight take, rook take, pawn take. There takes. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Now I got that. Now he's got one move there. And then we'll move it the knight out of the way so he has to take there. And then voila. Nice. Okay. Won another game. Didn't change our placement. But playing against Esco. We're 7 and 6 against Esco. It's pretty good. 18,000 games. Where's Esco from? I didn't see. Oh, he's from. From outer space again. Okay. I know this is the best move. Let's try that. Normally, you don't like to give your king away, but I remember studying this once, a very long time ago. Oh, okay. Um, let's do. What should we do? I don't know. This is an interesting situation we have going on. Oh, uh, let's try this. No. Let's force the capture. And if he leaves that pawn, he's losing. Here he has to recapture king or bishop. Bishop's losing. So he has to recapture king. Alright then. I think the goal is eventually to get our rook here and the king's not. So we can force the capture there. But his king's probably going to stay there because otherwise his bishop runs free. This pawn's going to be annoying for me to have there. I think this is good. No, it's not. Never mind. Let's try that because now we're forcing this. And then after that, we're forcing pawn. It's a big long chain. I'd like to get my rook off this square though because then maybe I can open up the file for my bishop. That move is interesting. Oh, he plays there. Um...
Mm, okay. I think that's what we want to do. Okay. That. And we'll play this. And then we will play something lazy. Actually, I think this is a winning move. There takes there. Oh, then he has this. I I want to try it though. I want to try that. Won't have a trouble with a rook. Problem will probably be our knight or even this pawn. That pawn's gonna be really annoying because I can't even move my bishop. Okay. Oh, we're running out of time. Let's start with this. Just force the capture of our rook. And then maybe something like this will open up. His knight won't be. Like, his rook will have to be protecting his bishop from there. Or, if he doesn't play this move, after losing, because after take, take, then we're good. So his only move right now is that, I think. And then after that, his only move is here. I guess he could play there, in theory, but he's losing. So he has to play there, followed by there. Because if, if he plays here, and then after I take, he plays here. And I'll just take until after he captured And I've got this knight move. So he has to play. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's very. Wow, okay. Oh, no. Hopefully he just doesn't time me out because he has more time. That would be disappointing, but people do it. Oh, wow. I can't believe he let that go. Oh my goodness. Well, that was lucky. Um, huh. He had the win if he wanted it. He could have just timed me out because I had way less. Oh, there's a five master playing this. That's basically like a guy who's really, really good at normal chess. And he doesn't have to play anti-chess to be good. But, um... Yeah, that's surprising. You don't see a lot of those. The world champion last year was a five master. But you don't see a lot of them. That's interesting. You don't see that that often. Base chess again. All right. See what we can do today. Let's try that. Oh, okay. Um, I don't see this a lot. Um, maybe we'll try... I don't know what to try. I don't even know what to do. Normally you don't want to do this, but I don't really, I'm kind of confused right now, so I guess... Hey, what's up, Adam? How are you doing? Queen. Interesting. Do I wait for the recapture? It's kind of interesting if I do. Let's try that. Um, what should we play in the meantime? Though? Or should we just play knight? Yeah, let's just play knight. Because that didn't really do much with his queen. Um, 
Okay. Um, let's play this move. Threaten this pawn. A recapture will be deadly for him because it opens up this. The reason I took here, not here, is because I just have more threat. I have that threat right there. Now he's got to be careful to fish up. But I also have to be careful because of my bishop. Both of them. Um, okay. We play, no, that's not good. Because if I play there, then he's there. And take recapture. So I guess you just have to play sort of slow. If he plays there, I actually like that because then I can get rid of my bishop having to defend, to defend here. Oh, he got his king in front. That's nice. That's good for him. Mm, I don't think I can play that yet, still, because... Yeah. don't have a lot of good spaces for my pieces. Let's try bringing our king... Oh, I probably should have brought up the other way. That would have been faster. Maybe we try to do a massive king march. Look at this, I'm drawing circles. Let's see if I can fill in all the... Oh dang it, I was going to say, see if we can fill in all the dark squares before. Ooh, I think this is safe now. Bather takes recapture, even if his bishop comes down here, he's double guarding this square. Which I like that. I think I'm going to play that. Running out of time against base chess again. Again, he's played he's played fourteen thousand games. Keeps his king. And we're off to the races now. Bring our king out. It's just it's a nice mobile piece. Mobile piece. Oh, he pins my bishop. Okay. Uh, let's try that move. Maybe we can maneuver our bishop around. <clears throat> Have to play fast again. Maybe I can get rid of it there someday. Um, play there. I want to get rid of his king as soon as I can. Oh! Well, I might be able to. He might, he might accept that. But he does not. Uh, let's bring our king over here. Oh, jeez. It's going to be a close run again! Um, maybe I can force him to. Uh, oh no. Oh, this is going to be a tight one. Once again. Oh, it didn't register. No. That's too bad. Ah. Uh, who? What did I always do wrong against him? Okay, engine's loading in. Ah, oh, dang! Performance is lower than wanted, but... 
not it's not horrible. It's not a it's not a super super epic night. Yeah, so oh my night night move was really bad. That's what's killing me. Alright, well, I'll go on to our next game. Playing C4. That's an interesting one. It's always. It's basically for people who want to get into a lot of queen races, which is basically where your queens are both just going, going ham. Uh, let's see here. Do we want to bring his rook out? Um, hmm. I don't have a good square to me, huh? We'll just play something like that. Something slow. Ooh. Okay. I see you. Recapture bishop. Oh my goodness, he's gonna murder me. Holy crap. That's better than me for him. Oh my goodness, that's embarrassing. Wow. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna get back on back on track here. Wow, how did I let that happen? Wow. Jeez, our rating's flying down. It's taking a dive. Let's try to let's try to bring her back up. Let's see. All right. Fabrice Prigent from France. Playing this opening. I like this opening. I know he only has two like moves, I'm pretty sure that stay alive, something like that. It might be this move instead. I don't know how to beat every single one of them, but I'm pretty like as I used to play I used to play this opening all the time, so um I think this is the right move. So I know a lot of a lot of things that you can do against it. Those so sort of my thing. The problem is now, because even if he, though, he thinks he has sack there, after I take, then he'll have to take here, and then take, take, and then I do something else. And I think it's winning for me. It should be winning for me. Um, definitely take here. That was a real cast to recapture. So I can pre move the king. And then I think I can also. Then I think I play here. Okay, it's looking good. Then we'll play here. We've got triple capture all in a row. Oh, I I messed up. I done goof. Oh wait. Okay, I'm still alive. But oh, that was a bad mess up. Who? Okay, so now his bishop's going to have to take that, which is good. But really, I want to get rid of. All, oh, never mind. Really, I want to get rid of his bishop and his rook. So let's start with this. Get rid of his rook. I mean, bishop. Because then I want his pawns to have to start moving forward. Then. 
if his pawns have to start moving forward, then I'll eventually be able to get rid of that. It makes king. I'm okay if he, if he gives me, if I take his king, as long as I get to take his rook. We're, we're all good. I don't know if he'll play something like this. I wonder if he plays there as knight good. Because knight might be good. So he sacks here. I take him threatening that. And. Oh, okay. I like this. Oh, he's definitely losing now. Definitely. Look here. It's okay if he sacks his pawn. Fine for us. Because, as I said before, eventually, now he has to, he has to start moving these pawns. So that's good for me because I have, I have more mobile pieces than him. So I'll be able to outmaneuver him. Or her. Uh, we'll just, I don't know, play down here. Or, or we'll make it faster, actually. And we win. Okay. One game. That's a lot of people with a lot of points. Not expecting this. Got less than 12 minutes left. It's our performance down to 20.59. Fire Bat Prime. 17 score against me. Wow, he's he kills me. In case you're wondering, his rating has been very, very high before. Probably took a break after the after the World Championships. So just a small, interesting move. Um, I think. So, oh no, that's definitely not a good move. Um, try something like that. Oh, I think that's losing for him. Even after the queen capture, I got knight capture. Let's see here. There. Uh, here. No. Move him around. Oh, no! Oh, no, that's too bad. Crap. Who? Dang. Might be okay now. But I wanted to win. Jeez. Oh wow. Okay. Maybe maybe I don't have to win. He may have a little trouble with that now, but he looks good. That's an interesting move. I think I don't take that out because then he takes here. So I take here first. Hopefully he does something like that. And then after I take, he has to take that. That's all I'm hoping for at this point. Somewhere he makes a not good move. Actually, though. 
he might be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, he's in time trouble. That's a big thing. Because I don't think he can actually move any of his rooks over here because he has, his rooks are double, double controlling this. Oh, no, yeah. His rooks are double controlling, so it's, it would have been very difficult for him. Yeah, wow. Okay. So we're back. Alrighty. Got a winning streak now. Base chess. Oh my goodness. He only has one loss. That was to me. I mean, he beat me the other time, but... Yeah, so his only loss is to a guy that... His only loss was to a guy that only beat him because three seconds are left. Playing Zito. He's improved so much, like... This record that I have against him, 13-2, is nowhere near representative of how much, how much Zito's improved. But his improvement has been significant. Um, uh, what do we take with... Take there. Okay, what we want to do is we want to get. Oh, oh, he actually had that move. That move would have been. Oh wait, no, it wouldn't have been good. I'm less than that. Opening up on that knight. He has to recapture with the knight now. Uh, we'll start. I think this is actually a good move. Let me see. Hit there. If he moves here, I would take, 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 take. I would capture if he would capture. I don't know if that's good for me, though. Mm -hmm. However, if I don't do it now, then I'll never be able to do it. So maybe instead. Instead, we try this. We're threatening both of those. He still can't move his knight, but he'll probably move his rook somewhere. Okay. Is that good for me? Feels like it should be. There, there, there. Let's try this. Try just sacking everything. King is probably the best move. Or bishop. Actually, bishop is less good. Yeah. But I think, I think he actually is winning position right here. Immediate ambition is to play knight, but the problem is rooks are going to get double stacked. Actually, they don't have to be. If he moves there and I move up here, and he has something like that. that though. Maybe he'll significantly losing on, on time. Um, he's probably waiting and now I play here. He has to play there, otherwise I win. Do I have any good moves? Um, Rook is definitely losing. Bishop's probably losing. Queen's probably losing. Knight's probably losing. King. Oh. I think he's losing. Now. Um, let's play here. He 
has to play king, but then I'm just going to give away my king. Because king versus knight, I'm winning there. And so, I can, I can risk getting this king away, because I'm fine now. Uh, let's just make sure we don't completely mess up there. And we win! Four minutes left. Maybe we can get in one more game. Uh, so yeah, let's try to play one more game. Uh, and then we'll end the stream. We'll call it a night. Call it a successful stream. It's a good win. Performance is back up. That's good. Base chess once again. All right. His base chess, I think he still only lost that one game. So we'll try to we'll try to put him back down. Plays knight. Okay. I like this move here because it, it it threatens threatens the knight. It puts a constant pressure unless he uses back there, of course. In which case, I play something like this. And the immediate instinct is to play to play a5, but then after bishop takes king, queen takes king. Ooh. Wait a minute. If I take here. And take, take. Oh, that gets tricky. I think I have to play that there. Okay, we got a queen down here. We're making lots of nice, lots of nice threats. I'd really like to get my rook on an open file, but it's kind of stuck in the tool. Oh, no way. I can't believe I missed that. Wow, now he's really winning. <laughs> Base chest is very strong there. Yeah, he's, he's a little strong. That was a very nice move. I can't believe I didn't see it though. Well played base chess. Your base chess will be the winner. Top six, not bad. I'm doing alright. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.